Emily, for Google and for the music labels, this move certainly is about making money in music, but each side has its own agenda. Google is tired of Apple's dominance, while the labels are tired of getting ripped off when people search for music. When Lady Gaga fans buy a song like Born This Way, they'll often hop on iTunes and buy the track. Apple takes 30% of the sale, Gaga and her label Universal take the rest. This is the music selling model so set long ago by Apple one of my at a time when labels feared piracy would put them out of business. Now what they fear is Apple's dominance. They've turned over a large, large amount of their income to, to Apple through iTunes and they are definitely worried that they're losing control of the business. As a result, the industry has been willing to cut deals with Amazon and now Google, which wants a service to make Android phones more attractive. Music labels themselves are in a pretty good position, all things considered their content is still quite valuable. Whether a song is sold through iTunes or Amazon or now Google, the 30-70 revenue split is pretty similar. The deals start to differ when songs move to the cloud as labels are hungry to get paid a second time. Meanwhile, these deals differ from those for services like Pandora, where labels get paid every time a song is played. But one thing that helped Google in its negotiations is its dominance in search. Quick searches for songs often lead consumers to unlicensed music. All right, so I'm going to search Google for, say, free downloads of Katy Perry songs. So free downloads of Katy Perry songs. And what comes up? Well, a lot of free downloads of Katy Perry songs. In fact, it's only until you get halfway down the page that you see iTunes at all. And this is something that has always frustrated the music industry. Meanwhile, the money that Google and the labels make from their new deals ultimately depends on how many people actually use the service. I don't know where Google's going to try to differentiate its music service. Until I know that, I can't see that it would resonate significantly with consumers either. And John, Google is also making a big deal about the close ties between Google Music and Google Plus, the new social networking service they launched yeah. this year. How does that play into this new offering? Well, we know with Google Plus, they are trying to cut into the massive lead that Facebook has. Facebook, don't forget, has a very close relationship with Spotify. So doing something like this is meant to try and make Google Plus more relevant. But an announcement like this today, Emily, is just another reminder of how many competitors Google is fighting right now, whether it's Apple or Amazon, Facebook, the list goes on. Back to you. It's a crowded market out there. All right, thanks for that, John.